This is Bishop Turner with the Seed of Abraham. I'm in Chicago, and we're going to discuss this morning about the mass police shooting. I got a young man here, well equipped. Sit right there. Yeah, come on, just say something. Okay. Uh, I'm asking, this is Bishop Turner from Dr. King Movement. Just go out in Mississippi, Arkansas, all across the country. Uh, I got a young man here. Give me your name. My name is Robert Taylor. I got Brother Taylor here. Brother Taylor been in the Army, been around the country. And Brother Taylor, I want to discuss with you this morning about the killing that's going on in America. This is my thought about the killing that's going on in America. I, I feel that the killings in America is set up to destroy young black men. And the, the, the guys that fought in Vietnam and Korea, uh, they came back here and they had to fight to get a job. Here in Chicago, when they had 500 killings, then they had 3,000 uh, injured and killing after killing. Black on black crime got to stop. But police is still killing the day. Uh, this is September, right? In Charlotte, North Carolina, they killed a black man t just a few minutes ago. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, his the hands was up and they shot a man. In Ferguson, the man hands were being shot. So what I want to say, the NFL, the ABC, NBC, all of them got to be a part of say let's stop this killing. It's it's ironic to me that. Uh, the eternal all of police, the police union have endorsed Trump, and that's a shame. And then this morning, when I wake up, I see double Tom, Tom Tom, uh, Don King on the TV supporting Donald Trump, and and uh, Don King, I mean Larry, uh, Don King, have robbed Muhammad Ali. He robbed uh, all the people that he worked for that he was the promoter. Uh, uh, Tyson ain't got no money because he stole. He is a thief like Donald Trump, and he's supporting Donald Trump. He's an Uncle Tom, he's a Tom, and I want to say to the world, Don King need to go somewhere and hide on the rock. It's time for us to stand up and call a spade a spade. This is Bishop Turner from the Dr. King movement in the country. I'm in Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, and I'm here in Chicago trying to stop the killing. And this is what I want to say about the killing in Chicago. Until we get community policing, and what that means, the government, they get all the money and how all the police they want is not going to work. You got to have people in the neighborhood that ain't got no job, have some job. In Detroit, Chicago, Minnesota, all across the country. The problem is they don't want to give jobs to young black men. And it's a, it's a hit on young black men in America. Since Obama been in the office, do you know we didn't had about 2,000 black men killed over this country and it's still going on? I'm talking about men with their hands up, police pull the guns and shoot. Now, I want to say this in. In the white community, if they wouldn't have a black man shooting white boy, like white boy shooting black boy, that's what I want to say this morning. I want to add something to this. First of all, <clears throat> people that learn to get with God, they have a home issues and whatnot, and job issues and whatnot, all family issues, medical issues, and so forth and so forth. I feel that this country is in bad shape because I feel we have been deprived for years and years. That's right. Our father and our ancestors, so forth and so on. But the body don't set too well with me the way we're killing up each other. Mm -hmm. This is the part that uh, I, 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 I despise. I don't like. Well, know, okay. I, I believe it's designed, like you said, for if you got a, a, a man that don't have a job, can't feed his family. And Dr. King, Dr. Martin Luther King said that all the time. We, the, the politicians that we got in office have to create a job climate for young black males in America. We have 95% of young black males in jail right now, the women. You know, we're talking about Mexican, we're talking about brown, we're talking about that we're, we're moving to a fast slavery state like a race route. The killings in Detroit, the killing in Chicago, the killing in Ferguson, the killing in New York, the killing in Los Angeles. On every case, 
I hate, I'm going to too many funerals. I'm going to, too, I'm, I'm hearing too many mothers crying, that's my son. That's my son. He didn't get a chance to go to college. He didn't get a chance because he's being shot down in the streets of Chicago, Boston, uh, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. We must come to the realization that Walmart, Walgreens, the NFL, they have to play a part and say enough. Target, they want us to spend, they want to, our dollar, and, and by the way, our dollar is a trillion dollar of money thing. This is my proposal. I feel that we need to boycott. We need to boycott Walmart, boycott Target, the major companies. We need to boycott them until they come up and say, hey, let's stop this killing. I mean, if Walmart said it means something, if Walgreens said it means something, if the, the National Football League says something and the National Basketball says something, because it's all black men on the on the team. If they stand up to now, we ain't gonna play to y'all make a statement. We don't want no more killing in the neighborhood. What and the trillions of dollars that the government spending in Afghanistan building schools over there. What about the schools in Chicago, Detroit? The people in Chicago finna gonna stop. So it's, it's it's a double jeopardy. Our kids can't be educated because we spending money across the country in China, everywhere else. But we got to come back and service America. That's one of the most things. Stop the killings, save the babies. Now, I want to tell you, mothers, I want you to call the consumer. I want you to write Washington. I want you to, to, to tell them, say, all the money, look, right now, they're going to put a, a million dollars uh, getting new police and body cameras. That ain't the solution. The solution to the problem is have community policing. And what that means, if on my block, if I'm if, if if I'm a community police, I'm gonna see about my neighborhood, and that's what we got. The money got to come back to the neighborhood. You got people don't even live in the neighborhood. Call it the police when they come. When you call the police, you might get killed, and you call them about your problem. People don't even call them no more because they got killed on their mind. You got a knife, they shoot you. You got a stick, they kill you. It, it and the, and the union back them up. Sixteen shots. Uh, the man is dead. Because half of these cops is on drugs. They're taking steroids. They're taking uppers and downers. And ain't nobody dealt with the drug problem that we got in America. We have a, a, a serious drug problem in America. And it starts with our law enforcement. It starts with our judges. It starts with the whole gamut of things. If you're a policeman across this country, you need to be tested once a month for drugs. And if you done shot somebody, you need to be texted for drugs right then, and then you need to put on death duty that we can organize. If this country is about to go on until we change it, and we got to change it as the people, Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, they're hurting. Chicago is crying out. Mississippi is crying out. Georgia is crying out. Uh, all over the South is crying out. Charlotte, Atlanta, Georgia, blacks are being killed by the hundreds and thousands right now. We need help, and we need help from God. And God got the solution. Every preacher, these pastors, I want these mega pastors, and I want to say this, it's a disgrace that, that Cliff O'Dollar is supporting Trump. It's a disgrace that uh, Eddie Long is supporting Trump. It's a disgrace that Don King is putting, Don King is a rip-off, been a rip-off, and still a rip-off, and Don Trump is a rip-off. I'm just calling, wait, wake up, and let's deal with, the, you know, you know when, a, when a Republican president support Hillary, that lets you know something going on. And I want to say to you people that are listening, get on your telephone, call your pastor, you pay your tithes to him, so wait a minute, pastor, this is what we need to do. Get your, car, your, your, your block club, Eastern Stars, the Masons, or uh, every Sarada need to come together. It's rally time all over America. And you rally in the name of the Almighty God. Go ahead. The problem is the community don't get involved. That's one of the problems that you have. Everybody just spread out. They talk about these things, but they don't want to come together. And that's one of the problems that we have it and whatnot and all. See, I'm going to be honest with you about it and all. You know, you got sell out people, yeah. and whatnot and all, that you know who they are. Uh -huh. That's another problem that we have. You see, it starts with your family. 
It starts with your family and everything like that. No, got to be together. Mm -hmm. That's what that's where the problem starts at home. At home. So you got to learn how to take care of your family and everything. Like at that. home. And, support. and take care. And if they have problems, talk to that kid and find out what the problem is. Don't let it get outside. Do it at home. That's one of the problems. Parents do not get involved with the kids like they should. And that that's another thing. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's like that at all, you know. And like I said before. See, we just, and, and still, if we don't have enough in our neighborhood, we don't have faith in our neighborhood to get better for us. We got to go way out and everything yeah. like that to spend money. That's to right. And that's no good. See, I, that's one of the problems we have. Now, I want to say this, and you, you, you hit on that. In America, it seemed like that the Italians got reparation, the Jews got reparation, the Chinese got reparation. Mexican got to, everybody got reparation but the black man. And, and our ancestors came in. They came in like a horse, like a dog. We was in chains. I was great great grandfather was in chains. We built it. We built New York. We built Chicago. We built Washington. Our ancestors. So we I'm not going nowhere. We're gonna stay in America and we're gonna make it work. And I want to let you know that what's going on been going on for a long the murder, the lynching. You talking about six million Jews? You talking about a hundred thousand blacks mm -hmm. that been lynched and killed and burned and raped right here in America. We we're not going to take that. Now the young folks ain't going to take it. What I'm saying, every politician got to step up to the plate. We we got a thirteen we got a thirteen trillion dollar buying power. I'm talking about the black man by itself. Thirteen trillion dollars. You talking about we can't change things? I'm appealing to you. Talk to your pastor. Call your country. Get involved. If it don't, tomorrow it can be your son or your daughter. They can be stopped, a trap is stopped, a cop pull a gun and shoot him, well nothing happened. This is what has been happening. What I'm saying, what happened in Charlotte, what happened in Tulsa, what happened in Ferguson, what happened in Detroit, what happened in Chicago, 16 shot and you got 13 cops uh, sitting the same line. So it's very important for us to understand, we got to go back to God. Disobedient to God. Let me say it again. Church folk, I want to tell you, pastors, I don't know what y'all doing. If you Baptist, LME, CME, if you Islam, we need to come together. And not just come together when a cop get killed. We talking about coming together when all get killed. Five cops got killed in Dallas, and the man did it, he got blown up, but he was sick. He had been in Vietnam War, he had been in Afghanistan, and he was a sergeant in the Marines. I mean, he wasn't no dummy. He shouldn't have been killed. Mm -hmm. And and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, in every city now, they got black chief of police killing blacks. He mm -hmm. chief of police. He got to make the decision to go out and kill. And the union going to back the police was up. But he got to set up that it, way. It's a set up. It's a racist set up. It's a racist Jim Crow yeah. that's going on in 2016 uh, and it's going to continue to 2017 till we stop it. Until we organize. Until we organize and get together and everything like that, like an adult and everything like that, stand up for these things yeah. and boycott these things yeah. and whatnot and all and organize that we can we can help each other. Now I want to, okay, I want to say this. All lives matter. I never went with black lives matter, all lives matter. White lives, black lives, and I'm not going to take to that. Just black lives matter. Anybody got life matter to God. And, and what we have to stand together to let them know that if the killings are on the north side like it is on the south side, it was, it, it, uh, if you're a cop, you'd be fired just a minute. Uh, Baton Rouge and Louisiana. So it's very important to understand all lives matter, and we must deal with the lives and what's going on. To break the yokes, prayer, and I want to understand that what we got to do in the spirit of Dr. Martin Luther King, in the spirit of uh, Richard Allen, in the spirit of our ancestry, uh, Henry McNeil Turner, Nick Turner, and all them that fight, Marcus Garvey, now is the time for you to stand up. Now is the time for you to call somebody tell somebody and let's get together and turn this thing around in Chicago, Detroit, Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, Texas, uh, all over Las Vegas, all over uh, America, we got to stand up. 
And my thought is prayer this morning for the family. The murder, the mothers are hurting. The family, I, the young lady, I want to I want to highlight this. The young lady in Dallas, in, in Tulsa. She said, that's my twin brother. He's a big dude, but he shouldn't have been killed. So it's very important to understand, in Chicago, the, the burning of a young black boy threw it in the dust by blacks because of dope. We got a dope problem. We got an addiction problem, and it was brought on. The rightful associate is putting down Trump. That's where all the guns coming from. So it's coming on day and day. We find out it's connected back to Washington. It's connected back to the senator. It's connected back to the Republican Party. The, the Donald Trump being supported by the National Rifle Association. Donald Trump is supported by the Internal Police Union. This union for all the policemen. You tell me you can't stop the killing. You tell me the guns what, 13 years old, got AK-47, 9 millimeter. Where they getting them? They ain't got the money to buy them guns. Them guns have been loose in Indiana. In and, and right now, in Indiana, we got white kids on crack cocaine. A hundred dying a day. Let me say that again. A hundred people dying a day on crack cocaine. We Somebody opened the door for all these drugs coming in. That's where so much killed. And I'm going to go spiritual. In the Bible, there's an angel called Abaddon. He's the angel of death. Now, Abaddon had took over America. But only St. Michael and God can kill this spirit of, of jealousy, hate, envy, race hate. We have to come together. The bombing, that's evil. So evil trying to overtake us. And our ancestors, black, white ancestors, didn't build this country on hate. This country was built on God, on your dollar, and say, in God we trust. We're going to really trust God? Uh, Romans 1 and 26, God turned them over to a reprobate mind. You know, God said Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. So two men can't make no baby. Two women, we got to get it right from Washington down to Mississippi. We got to get it right from Washington to Chicago, New York, Atlanta, Georgia. We got to get it right. And one of the things here, when you do the wrong thing for the wrong reason, you get the wrong result. And I think that's what's happening to us. We got to stand up and let God guide us. I'm praying for everybody, and I want you to call me, get in contact with me. This is Bishop Turner, the Seed of Abraham, Dr. King Movement. I'm in Baton Rouge. I'm right there in Monroe, right there in Detroit. Call me as we begin to pray for you. And then Mr. White down in Fed, Mississippi, and he, he, he was on last night. It's a St. Luke 6 and 38, and it's scripture to stop the killing. It's scriptures in the Bible. We got to get together. We're going to get ready to start and have a prayer rally. Let me say it again. Prayer rally. That we're going to rally and pray and get an answer from God. Abraham got an answer from God. I got an answer from God. Moses got the answer. If you ain't got the answer for God, you can't cross the Red Sea. And we're in the Red Sea of blood. The blood is at the altar. The innocent blood of innocent women being killed in Chicago across this nation. You know, and it's very important for us to stand up. I want to thank you for this time, Reverend Bailey, Reverend Cook, Bishop Ford, and uh, Bishop Ross, uh, Bishop Bernie. And all of them that have come forth, we're getting ready now with the power of the Almighty God. And I, I just feel right now, somebody listening, they despondent. And I need to pray. God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, I come right now. God, I'm asking you to touch our people, black, white, brown, whatever they may be. Lord, give us a way out of this evil that the devil has set up for us. Let us go to the next level. Bless every boy, every girl, every man, every woman. Bless the professors in school. Bless the kids going to school. Father God, we know that you're able to open up the door. The God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, right now, God, I'm asking for your inner seat to come in and touch those that are sick, those that cross up. Father God, somebody needs you in Mississippi. Somebody needs you in Tennessee. Somebody needs you in Arkansas. Somebody needs you in Alabama. 
Somebody needs you in New York, in Chicago, Detroit, California, Minnesota, St. Paul, Indiana. Somebody needs you in Las Vegas. Somebody needs you in Denver. Somebody needs you right now. In the mighty name of God, touch, heal, and deliver. Right now, I want to tell you, it's a better day. Hold your head up. It's a better day coming. It's going to be all right. I want to leave you with this hymn. In all thy ways acknowledge God. He will direct your path. I want to leave this with you. Lift the name of the Almighty God up. You can't go wrong. And I want to tell you, God is still in control. The world, I want to tell you that they ain't saved. Repent of your sins and God will hear you. All you got to say, God forgive me right where I'm at. If I'm in jail right now, Lord forgive me. He will forgive you and your sins are given and you can go on and move to the next level. If you're on dope, say, Lord, I, and all you got to speak is, I want to come off of alcohol. I want to come off of drugs. I want to be a productive and have a community. And you got to make a decision. Is you ready to stop doing what you're doing and bring love? For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him should not perish by having life. And I want to tell people all over the world, we need love. We need peace and love all over the bombing in Africa, the bombing in Italy, the earthquake. We need peace. When we get peace in the world over where people ain't got nowhere to stay, people being killed, being wearing bombed, the peace of God will come in and will do something special. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I want to I want to let you know. You got anything else to say? Mm -hmm. You got anything you want to say? I wish that our people would come together and quit being so envious one toward one another. Quit mm -hmm. being so jealous. Take advantage of what's on your plate, not what's on somebody else's and everything like that. No. Accept your responsibility. Don't rub it off on other people. That's right. If you create a problem, solve that problem that you created. Yeah. And don't take it out on anybody else. This is wrong. That's right. See, that's what I'm saying. And we have to stop selling each other out. That's right. Quit selling each other out. This is wrong. That's right. I don't say don't get involved with certain things like that in all certain points. Uh huh. But if you can't say nothing good about a person, don't say nothing, nothing bad, bad about it. Amen. Don't be so quick about putting the person down. This yeah. is wrong. Lift because them up. Instead of lift them up, try yeah. to help them. Mm -hmm. Try to find out what their problem is. Mm -hmm. Because you may be make a, make a difference in their life. That's right. You. And don't take right. them down with people. Don't take them one person to make a difference in their personal life. But you got to go back the right way. If, if they make their mind up, and I want to say this, you know, this is the day of your life, the day of you being successful. God loved. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. I want to say peace in the east, peace in the west, peace around the world. And I want to claim, I want to claim peace where you can get healed from cancer, tuberculosis, cataract. God is a healer. And I believe if you just lean on God right now, yeah, I know you don't know what to do. The doctors don't know. But if you call on the Almighty God, He will heal you right now from that cancer, cataract, tumor, high blood, low blood. God can do it. And I'm praying and I'm trusting God for my life. I'm trusting God for your life. I'm trusting God for you to be delivered. And I want to tell you right now that Hillary Phoenix going to win. I'm going to probably say, she's going to be the next president. She's going to win, win, and she's going to do a she's good job win. because God is involved. Evil cannot overtake good. Right. Darkness right. can't That's master right. light. The yeah. 27 number sum, my light and my salvation. And I want to tell you, the light of God is shining in America. God is beautiful. I just want you to listen to me. Pray. I, you know, you ain't got to do just pray. <laughs> Prayer changes things. You know, ain't no need to march and pray. Because the angels going to march. The, world. the angels going to march. The saints going to march. All the God's soldiers going to march. And I want to give honor to all the prophets. Prophet Abraham, Moses, Jacob. All the prophets of God. I want to give honor to all the angels. Michael, Rabbi, Bobby, yeah. They are working for us. And the saints that pray night and day. If you just put your prayer together, 
we can win this battle over evil, over jealousy, over racism, over all the evil, the murder that's going on. Because vengeance is mine, said the Lord. The good going to overthrow the bad. The good going to always over good the bad. And, right. and he said, vengeance is mine. So don't get mad, mothers. Pray. Right. You lost a son. You lost a daughter. Mm -hmm. If you pray, God going to rise up and stomp this devil down. That's true. Wherever he at. You see, the devil is mad because the devil is time up. Right. It's time for God people to step That's up. Right. Right. It's time for God That's people right. to step up yes. and declare God. The light all over the world. That's right. The killing got to stop. The murder got to stop. Uh -huh. And the only way it's going to stop by us praying. And I want to tell you, I'm praying for you, you and you. I'm praying that everything's going to be all right it's from this gonna minute. Be fine. It's going to be fine. Amen. It's going to work out. It's going to take care of itself. I just thank God for that. Oh, yeah. And I'm talking about, for God so loved the world. Uh -huh. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm talking to you this morning, this evening, wherever it might be, that you cut on your computer and you listen. I want to tell you, all is well. It might seem like it's dark. But when you pray, light gonna come. That's right. When you pray, angel gonna come. That's right. When you pray, God gonna send somebody to uplift you. God right gonna send me. somebody gonna work for you. That's it right. been working for me. Work for my grandma, my great grandma. It's gonna work for you. Right. Young man, put the gun down. Young lady, come off the prostitution road. God got a way for you. Right. Come back home to your family. Right. You're getting and out of nice. jail. And you're nice. And you nice. Love. That's right. Love. 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 Don't let the bitterness of hate. No, no building hate that, is for the go. devil. That's out. That's let out. that go. Let That's God out. come in and let God move on you. That's right. and, and let me tell you something. I claim right now your healing. I don't know what it is. It could be tumor, cataract, it could be cancer. God gonna heal. It could be a heart problem. God gonna heal right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare healing on your body. Body, mind, soul, and spirit. Right now. In Jesus' name, you heal. I just want you to believe that. I want you to walk in it. With all this stuff in, God is still in control. Okay.